Another week, another dollar. That's what he used to say, or it was another day, another dollar. Well, I'm gonna show you a way to put more dollars in your pocket. And if you stay tuned for just one second, I got some good news for you. Hey everybody, it's Nuke out in Las Vegas, bringing you the latest real estate news. And if you could do me a favor, if you see that subscribe button below and it is still red and not gray, please click that subscribe button. Hit uh, the like button and uh, leave a comment if you like, cause that's the way the YouTube algorithm works. So anyway, let's start talking about a way to save you money if you have been looking for a new build home. Well, here's an ugly truth. About 80% of people who buy new build homes go in without a realtor. Well, why is that an ugly truth? Some of you are saying, well, the builder does everything for me. Why do I need a realtor? Well, I got some good reasons for you now and some reasons you should think about now to possibly put a little bit of money in your pocket. Now, I'm gonna be very honest. The economy has become red hot. And with the economy being red hot, especially in the housing market, uh, a lot of the builders will no longer pay a commission to a real estate agent. Did you notice something? They didn't lower their prices. They raised their prices. Well, even in a case where they pay commissions to real estate agents, that does not affect the price of the home that you purchase. On top of that, if you go in and you're without a real estate agent, they're not gonna lower that price, not by one penny. As a matter of fact, work with a real estate agent has many advantages, some that you haven't thought about. Some builders still offer builder incentives that they only offer to people who come in with real estate agents. It may not be much, but it's something. But here's where you really put some money in your pocket. Remember those 80% who don't show up with a real estate agent? Well, that's money that the builder just puts in their pocket. Why don't you take that money and put it in your pocket? Here's the way how. All you gotta do is contact a real estate agent before you go to the new build. Well, the new bill requires that you walk in with a real estate agent. Just have a real estate agent who can walk in with you, collect a commission, and you break you off a piece. Now, there are a few states where this is illegal, but here, like in Nevada, it's completely legal. You can go in and ask for a certain portion of that real estate agent's commission. So let's say, hypothetically, they get, um, I don't know, $9,000. Because I'm going to be honest, even the ones that still do offer a commission, it's way down from where it was in a normal market. Okay, you could ask for, let's say, $3,000 back. That's $3,000 you would not have gotten. That could help pay for things like closing costs. It can help pay for things like some new furniture. If that builder doesn't include certain appliances, like a nice stainless steel refrigerator, guess what? You just got it for free. Thank you. Those 80% who didn't walk in got nothing. So if you're thinking about a new home build, think about put a way to put money into your pocket. First of all, you're going to have to find somebody who's not too greedy because for some odd reason, some people get a little greedy. They start looking at money and they go like, wow, money. Um, even though they didn't have to do much, it's still their money. It, it, it can be their money if they had to really work. They had to show you a bunch of places. Maybe you saw a hundred houses and then had to settle for a new build or something. I don't want to say settle, but you had to go for a new build because you were beat out over and over. That person probably earned their money. But what about the case where you only want a new build? What, what, what did they do? Well, what I'm saying is you walk in with your stunt realtor and get paid. Now, this works in most cases, but there are some where it won't work. If you go to look for a realtor and go to some places um, on the internet, a lot of those are referral sites and the realtor has to pay a referral fee, sometimes up to dang near half their commission, which means just to get you, they've all done that. So look out for a realtor who you can trust, who hasn't been sent as a referral from a uh, any kind of a website or anything so they don't have to break off a piece of that and 
get through all these little breakoffs, there's like really nothing left for you because everybody's out there. Because a lot of people don't understand that the commission, that agent doesn't get to keep it on the buy side. Uh, no matter what, they got to pay their expenses and that's part of paying their expenses. Uh, their broker who they may have, uh, you no, know, they're going to get their portion. And some of the brokers, they have this uh, theory in real estate called company dollar. What company dollar means is, let's say the commission was 9000 and they owed, I want to say hypothetically, because you no, know, this is old school and it varies all over the place. Let's say the broker got 50%. Well, they got to get 4500 bucks to the broker anyway. Well, what if they were to give, break you off a piece? Well, fine. Well, some brokers say, okay, I'll take half of what's left. Some brokers say that that is their money. That's their money. And uh, even if they broke you off 3000 they still got to pay their half to the broker based off of that nine, which means they've made nothing. So it's not really an incentive for them. So ask that question. How does your broker approach company dollar? Okay, so if their broker is cool with it, let it happen. Some brokers are so greedy that they can't think ahead. And it's like, this person was going to go to the new build anyway. Why shouldn't we get something and the buyer get something out of it? They're going like, well, we should keep every penny. Uh, you're, you're giving yourself away. How are you giving yourself away? I'm going to be very honest. Very honest. At a new build, when you walk in, they handle everything. I've heard, had people who say that to me all the time, and they're truthful. Matter of fact, I just had someone I worked with for months, showed them house after house, offer after offer. I call them up one day, and it's like, oh, we bought a new bill. We walked in. We were just so tired of looking at houses and everything. It's like, but thank you. Uh, and their thought was, we didn't need you. They took care of everything. Well, what if they had used me and gotten a you know, five, 6,000 bucks to put in their pocket. It, it was a more expensive bill. So they could have put a, a lot, I mean, to buy like a lot of furniture away by taking off a piece. So that's one of the things. Don't just say that, oh, what's the use? The realtor doesn't do anything for me. What about this? Why would you walk into some place, let the builder keep all the money for themselves, not give you any incentives, when you could put money in your pocket. So I hope this was a good tip for you. And if you want to get more tips, and if you have not hit that subscribe button, I know I've asked before, but go ahead and consider subscribing because I'm trying to get to a thousand. And I want to thank those of you who got me to 750. I really do appreciate it. And I have more videos for you to watch. So go ahead and click through some of those videos and watch some of the other stuff that I've put out there. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.